we need to talk about Jungkook asking for help, specifically to Jimin. We need to talk about Jungkook's response to AI and the various stuff happening with that involving him. And then we have legal action taken with Jin and what happened there. So hey, this is Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab it, Zumblunt. Hey, Splingbug merch, and let's go. This first news is absolutely crazy, and there's a lesson here for all of us to know and learn. One in particular involves the media and not just trusting it so freely. Things can often seem true, which is why they go viral and get a lot of attention, but it's oftentimes not so true if it's super dramatic. So what happened? If you're unaware, a little while ago, it was reported that at the beginning of when Jin enlisted, there was a nurse who was allegedly at a different camp. She then went ahead and head over to Jin's site to administer a vaccine since there were apparently not enough nurses or vaccines over there. The story was reported by several big media sites and news that she snuck over there and actually did not have proper clearance to do so. So it made it appear she drove 30 minutes from her camp just to administer a random vaccine vaccine to Jen, and it seemed like stalker-ish action. If any of this was true, it definitely isn't good. Even though Jin was okay, it made it look like the military had poor security. It also made it look like people could just waltz in, pretend to be a nurse, and just inject Jin with God knows what. What was even more strange about this was how late in the game this story broke, because it was believed to have occurred much earlier in Jin's enlistment. But we just found out about it maybe one or two months ago. And then of course, it is quite odd that Hybe did nothing. Well, apparently due to the mass news coverage and how shocking it was, the story of course went viral and many people probably reported the camp or tried to do something, in which case investigators got involved. There was some legal action that appeared to be happening. I don't think Jin was behind the legal action, but the action was taken by the ministry's prosecutor's office. The nurse came out and said that everything reported was completely false, but an investigation wasn't fully done yet. This was just their response to the situation. Well, good news, the investigation is now complete and all the accusations were completely fake. The nurse did get clearance to go to Jin's site and the reason she was even at Jin's site was due to the fact that there was an extreme shortage of nurses there. So she literally just did her job. The nurse expressed how frustrated she was that a story was spun like this and way out of proportion compared to what even happened. And literally no one fact checked the situation. Now, fact checking the situation would be difficult for a lot of media sites as they can't contact the ministry. And if this was a case that had occurred, the ministry cannot disclose any information until after. However, just about every ridiculous story that ever comes out that seems very dramatic, people need to be aware that it could possibly be fake. Luckily, the nurse's face and stuff was never leaked or discovered, so this issue can now blow over. But I am very very curious as to who started this story and where they got their information. How did such a story even come out where one nurse traveling to Jin even makes it on the news? Like was there a paparazzi there at the camp and then they noticed the nurse and decided to spin a fake story on her? Like news was reporting that she came from a different site and all this information on her, but no one fact checked anything that was being said. I think it's quite sick that someone could spin a story like that. But as usual, the lesson here is to take everything you see in the media with a grain of salt. And the people who know best, in this case Hybe, would usually be the first to take action before anyone else. Also, since the story got so big, imagine if the nurse got fired and she did nothing wrong. Not only did she get fired, but what if she got her medical license removed over something that did not happen? Of course, many people would not care, but imagine how Jin would feel. The simple fact that Jin was the reason this even got media attention and the reason a case was even being created against this nurse. So with reasons like this, we as the audience must also consume content more cautiously. It's okay to read or click on it, but question it. Also understand that if the members themselves don't choose to address something, I would say they probably don't care as much as we might think that they do. Because we have seen that the members are not scared to address things that really do bother them. They'll typically address it on Weverse, Post, or Jungkook likes to address things via a live stream. Jungkook recently was on a live stream and fans were freaking out because he was shirtless. He was, however, bundled up with a blanket and talked about how he would not be showing more than that, but it is so hilarious that even just this has made the fandom really freak out and cry. 
Jungkook was probably looking to follow up his sleeping video right before and thought how could I top that video and decided the best way to do that was to do it shirtless. And I'm pretty sure it garnered way more attention because of that. Jungkook was just chatting and he said that he was not really go going to sleep when armies and Jungkook were greeted with a nice surprise. Jimin decided to hop on the stream via the chat. So we first recently announced this feature, thanks to Taeya, that when an artist comments, it should be very visible and big so that the fandom can see and also the artist on the stream can see and read the comment. Jimin basically told Jungkook to go to sleep and Jimin actually just woke up, which must have been such a surprise for Jimin to see Jungkook on a stream so early in the morning. All the boys' sleep schedules are terrible and as a singer and entertainer, you have to entertain and work in the hours that no one else is working and then sleep or take a break on the hours everyone else is working. This is why movie theaters get a lot of business at night, Broadway shows are at night, concerts, etc. So this definitely makes their schedule not normal. Jungkook then on the live stream asked Jimin to come and join him one day for a live stream. Basically Jungkook was asking for Jimin's help in making a live stream in the future. And of course with two people this would be so entertaining. I love the idea so much. Jimin decided to actually ignore Jungkook's cry for help on a stream and instead told Jungkook straight up no. Told Jungkook that he does not want to do a stream with Jungkook because Jimin is scared that Jungkook will hit him. Obviously the two do not hit each other. However Jungkook has been very strong lately and I can totally see that being a concern. Jimin is so funny and he definitely has my sense of humor. But funny enough, this was not the only thing that happened on the stream, but Jungkook addressed something that we definitely should have a conversation about. And I'm pretty sure you're sick of hearing it so much, but AI. If you're unaware of how AI has been impacting entertainment in general, there's been a lot. There's currently a writers and actors strike going on, and this is predominantly over AI. Specifically this idea that movie studios will be allowed to pay actors and writers much less money since the actors and writers will physically be working less. Now, most people don't think that AI could touch music, but it kind of already has. So there's been a lot of AI covers on YouTube where someone would take a bunch of Jungkook songs and vocals and then run it through AI and then ask the AI to sing another popular song. So for example, you'll have Jungkook doing Seven Rings by Ariana Grande and it'll sound exactly like how Jungkook would sound if he were to sing that cover. There's nothing innately wrong with this. I want to specify so these AI cover accounts don't get hate. And if I were sat at home bored and wanted to hear Jungkook do a cover or wonder what it would sound like, I would just run it through and see. It's fun and these covers get views even though the title says AI on it because people are curious. Jungkook addressed this to say that it's very weird to hear and see these covers a lot lately and I think this exploded the internet to ask these accounts to stop posting these things because Jungkook has seemingly vocalized that he does not like this. He claims that the songs have no emotion and it's not as good as humans singing. Jungkook talked about how it seemed like in the future AI will be singing. This is definitely a concern for artists and if AI does get better where it can add the human elements into a song, then AI will completely take over. The idea that a song is completely AI is not impossible. How your voice wavers or quivers when you're upset or sad can simply just be a press of a button to generate a fake shake in the voice or something that can simulate an emotion. On the other hand, I can see that AI can help artists a bit with their process and maybe even help create albums much faster. An album recording session that normally takes a week to do can now take a day. What I can see happening in the very near future, like maybe even now, will have AI sing a new song in the artist's voice and then produce that whole track, but then have the artist come into the studio to re-record parts that sound off or parts they want more emotion on. And this can turn from a nine hour day in the studio to maybe just 20 minutes. Of course, there's a lot of issues with this and a lot of issues of if this can be done. What else can be made of the artist's image and voice without their permission? Are we going to to see people start to trademark or copyright their voice and face. There's also been this issue with people using the members' faces, specifically Jungkook, and putting it on naughty videos, making it look like Jungkook is having sex or just released a tape. I can see this being a much bigger issue very soon into the future, as it seems like this is currently an issue. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks, just a lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.